But never mind all that. Two. Top. Stop. Oh, it's the Monsters, Inc. credits before they were famous. Not the title of the movie, just a memo from the animators. Hey, it's Monday morning, and I'm Jack Lucas. I didn't know Lindsay Lohan had a Saturday morning cartoon. Huh? Olympic mascots of the future! You can call me Rusty. Oh, I'm, I'm not a car. I'm a spy from Mars. Uh-huh. My mission? To scout this planet for... Uh, chicks. Oh, but uh, let's begin at the beginning, shall we? 75 million years ago, Lord Xenu first came to Earth. You see... We're running out of oxygen on our planet. No, you're not. And this Earth looked inviting. Mmm. Good roads, plenty of minerals, uh, and we tuned in an inspiring message. Keep calm and YOLO, bro. All men are children of God. Put out pride and envy by putting God first. Reverend Gene Wilder? We are our brother's keeper. We do unto him as we would have him do unto us. Unless he's a loser. Thou shalt not kill. Children of God. Liberal hogwash. Like us. Uh, I couldn't wait to start. Hey, that rocket runs on jazz fusion. <laughs> Get it? Thetans for everyone. But I skidded into a situation that was really wild. The Toyota Celathon. There were beings who looked like me called cars. I didn't know it was possible for animation to have fewer than two dimensions. Oh no, is Mater going to be in this? But they were slaves to a race of creatures who had only two legs. And no clothes. Brutal. Oh boy, I wonder how many weeks it took to render this shot of the city. I looked around, and I found a kind of rest home. I know what rest homes are, but not used car lots. Try and keep up. I slipped on a disguise and found a wavelength on which I could communicate with my kind of... Beings. I played the pop hits of the 70s and 80s. Man, I mean, like, you know, they drive us crazy. Dick Sean. We can't do a thing on our own. And Peter Sellers. Well, I mean, like, you know, some of the young ones, they're not so bad at trying. Can you dig it? They got their driving school. Hmm, pitifully few. You batter pudding. You know, they have alert minds and good reflexes. Still, we'd never get very far unless we helped each other. Oh no, that's just a Ford Fiesta. Don't don't worry about that. I was idling there, just sort of gassing away with my new friends, when suddenly I was captured by a two legs myself. It was useless trying to communicate, no intelligence. He put truck nuts and a trump sticker on me. And then he pulled over and stuck a cold metal nozzle into my nether regions. And he steered me into situations that would make your engine boil. He drove sideways around and around the same block with no apparent destination. Oh, he's driving like Justin Bieber after drinking two cans of Pepsi. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You first. The Lockhorns meet cute. And the things I saw on your highways. Like roadkill and cracker barrels? If only someone would invent traffic lights. They 
all had the right of way. Stupid millennials. These two legs have a peculiar fluid. Alcohol. They rub it on stuff from what I gather. You see, just a drink or two releases inhibitions but slows down reflexes. Hmm, what a combination. I'm not being sarcastic. I legitimately enjoy this stuff. Some of them even like getting loaded and blasting off in two tons of steel aimed for trouble. Hey, isn't that the tagline from a Vin Diesel movie? They rarely miss. You're pretty smug for a I cartoon alien. In every single hour on this primitive planet, four of the creatures die in a car crash. And that there's been a fatal accident for every mile and a half of paved road. Isn't it glorious? And in my mind, I kept hearing that voice we'd picked up on Mars. All men are children of God. Except Greg. Christian love demands Christian concern for the rights of others. Hey, what about my religious freedom, buddy? Put out pride and envy by putting God first. God schmod, I want my monkey man. Simpsons, episode 8F22. Come on now, if we're honest, isn't the Bible silent on the issue of road rage? Ha-ha! 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 See, nowadays this would never happen because we're all too busy texting. Oh! The afterlife is more pink than I imagined. We are our brother's keeper. We do unto him as we would have him do unto us. Yeah, but that's not so much a golden rule as a golden suggestion. Thou shalt not kill. Oh, come on, that was written like a hundred years ago. And while I've got you here, God isn't too crazy about the cable companies and, uh... Oh, he hates vaping. Oh, and he says kale was never meant to be eaten. Look out, it's a stylized, impressionistic representation of a train, I think. Look, is this an awkward time to point out that Mars only has trace amounts of oxygen in its atmosphere? More death. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, what a nightmare it was until I made my escape. Saul Bass helped me get away. What a world. You say that driving is not a right, but a privilege. And now you want to say that Usher is an actor? To endanger yourself and others is a violation of moral law as well as statutory law. Yeah, what's your point? You say the right of way is not as important as God's right way. Hey, now you're taking me out of context. That reckless driving is a sin. Yeah, but everything's a sin, I think. So what's his report going to say? Cannot recommend Earth for colonization because humans drive like idiots. But you say one thing and do another. And every day there are more creatures, more cars, more smash-ups. That's why I'm leaving. But you... Me? Where are you going? Hey, did I imagine it or did a cartoon spaceman just tell me to go to hell? I bet he filled his suitcase with oxygen before he took off. Methodists, huh? So while the fundamentalists are warning us about fornication and hellfire, the Methodists are using sci-fi to scold us about our driving. Your move, Quakers. Produced in consultation with the Wesleyan Quadrilateral. Ah, the writer of The Hope That Jack Built. And if that doesn't mean anything to you, I am not shocked. Hey, a little trivia about this short. I originally intended to riff this short almost 15 years ago in the first season of Fun With Shorts, but for some reason I put it aside and forgot about it until just recently. And of course now I have uh, repurposed it into the greatest work of entertainment mankind has ever known. So, you know, you're welcome. Okay, bye. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Did you know that Fun With Shorts is powered by its own Patreon campaign? It's true. For a small pledge, you can see every new video before the rest of the internet and get special patron-only riffs and other goodies. 
part of this nutritious rumble. Pledge just a dollar or more and you'll get a free movie riff download as my thanks to you. I think he just baptized a gopher. Click the Patreon logo to check it out and I'll see you next time.